girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. And as y'all can tell by the title today, we are back with yet another baddie on a budget. All right, I didn't want to do this video for you guys really, really quickly because I did not want any of these links for everything that I got today to expire because I know how AliExpress can do. This video is going to kind of be a collective haul. Before we jump into today's video, you guys already know what to do. Hit that subscribe Hit the subscribe button down below. Join the Beehive Gang, the Beehive Fam, and also while you're doing that, hit the little bell button down below as well so that way you guys notify every time I upload any videos like these and others. And yeah, without further ado, clink, clink, ladies. It's a baddie on a budget. Listen, I don't only drink soda, but since what the f I still melting now is dripping water, Jesus. I don't only drink soda, but that's all we got. I ain't got no juice. I ain't go to the stove. Ooh, my nails. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. I mean, I poured the whole thing. The first item I'm showing you guys is going to be this shirt right here. This is the shirt right here. It's this long sleeve kind of textured ribbed shirt. Y'all know right now, tie dye and everything is really, really popping for this season, for summer, for spring. It's just really all out there. And I'm just getting onto this tie dye trend. I've always kind of been kind of weary of tie dye, but recently, since I've been seeing people wear it and bring it out in different ways and dress it up to make it look like something, I think now I'm becoming a fan. This is honestly a new type of fashion, new type of trend to my closet. So this is actually my first tie-dye item. And now I must say I gotta get more. You girl gotta get some more, period. First of all, the fit of this shirt is so freaking bomb. It flatters the it flatters the girls, okay? Anything that situates the boobies, your girl gotta get, period. With the ruching on the sides, it does give you the option to like make it kind of crop, make it kind of mid-belly type of 90s top vibe, 90s mom, 90s babe type of look. This can crop pretty high with the strings. The only thing is the strings are a little bit long. Even if you're not cropping it, even if you're... Huh? Even if you aren't using the strings, huh? Even if you aren't using the strings, the strings are pretty, pretty long. So I recommend you guys, if you do order this shirt, to cut your strings. Cut your strings while they're untied so that way you can see how long they're going to be. At first, I thought that shirt was black. And that's what I ordered initially on the website. But after I received it and looked at it, it does look like it's like a navy blue. The next item that I have is this two-piece. And I'm letting y'all know right now, this is black. We're getting the black out the way. It would not be a Courtney B. Hall if I didn't get black. So let me have my moment, okay? The pant and crop top. This exact set is inspired by Naked Wardrobe. Y'all know how I love Naked Wardrobe. They're my babies. Um, they need to sponsor me because I love them. So I did go on AliExpress and find the exact set. Baby girl was hitting. She was she was hitting. She was cute. Did fit a lot better than I thought. I thought it'd been like that little cheapy, thin, stretchy nylon spandex-ish Frankenstein cocktail type of material. But this was cute. I'm in love with the neckline. I do wish that the top was a little bit more stretchy, a little bit more comfortable to wear. This thick waistband is gonna cinch you, okay? Still suck in your stomach now, that's what I had to do. I still sucked in, but baby girl helped me a lot. To pair up this outfit, I would also pair this with these shoes, which is also a part of this haul. These are the shoes. I'm not sure what their exact name is. I'm not sure what the exact name is, but these are the shoes. Like these thick, chunky black sandals, like some kindergarten sandals that the mom put on you to go play on the playground. These are kind of heavy to walk in because they are so chunky. It is comfortable enough to walk in, but they do feel kind of like space shoes. So once you get used to walking in them, you should be fine. They do have three-way Velcros. I did get mine in a size 36, which is equivalent to a size six in US size, and it fits perfectly fine. Probably my favorite item out of the whole entire haul. The next item that I have is also another two-piece. I'm pretty basic, y'all know I love my basics. Honestly, I'm not really a, a midi skirt, you know, type of girl. On the model, this looks really, really cute. I feel like you can find this type of set anywhere, Fashion Nova, Naked Wardrobe, pretty little thing. Pretty much everywhere has it, but y'all know I just like to stick to my AliExpress. Period. I don't really like how it fit on me. It did fit my booty pretty good. I just don't know how I feel about long skirts. I don't know how I feel about skirts, period. I just want to try something different, and I did, and I don't know. But it's something about the way the skirt fits at the bottom that's giving me church skirt or church dress. It's too baggy. I feel like it, I feel like my skirts have to come with some type of criteria. They have to be extremely body kind. It just wasn't as form fitting for me as I would like. I would probably definitely wear the top. The next thing I got is this this tube dress. I love tube dresses, especially nude, white, black. Y'all y'all know, look, look at this color palette. Like, I just love anything basic. Like, basics are me. I am basics, period. 
it. This is a little bit more of a thicker material. Now, here's a little quick little tip. When you're doing an AliExpress and you're looking for a dress, a bodycon dress, body concert, whatever the case may be, if ever it says double lined or double layered, this is gonna be thick and it's gonna be compressive. This is what the double line looks like on the top. Probably gonna wear either some nice flats or some little Debbies. Probably some flats because little Debbies now that's really hurt my feet. I don't know if I'm getting old or what. <clears throat> I would have never picked up this brooch type of dress on my own at all. I was actually on Pinterest real, real late night as I normally am, you know, Quarantine Chronicles. It inspired me to get this dress. If I can find that exact pin, I'll put on the screen yeah, that so that way y'all can see what caught my eye and what got me to buy this dress. I underestimated how short it would be. I just feel like this dress is gonna rise up in the back and expose all of my Skittles and I can't do that for free. Even without it being cinched up or tied up in the front, this dress is actually really high up. And I also don't really like how they have like these capped off bubbly sleeves, choir robe type sleeves when it comes to dresses. Now the fit of this dress is bomb. Okay, the fit of this dress is really nice. It fits my body really good. I just don't like how short it is. This could be a club dress though. You're not gonna be able to dance or do a shuffle or do a boogie or nothing in this. Especially if you if you taller than me, this is gonna be a shirt. This is a piece that I bought a long, long time ago. I actually forgot I even had it in my closet. I've never worn it. And that is this white type of mini ruched slinky dress. But if you do get this in white, just make sure that you guys have on some type of undergarment because this is kind of see-through. It's kind of sheer. I probably would dress this down. This is a shorter dress. I don't even wanna wear heels with this. You can, if you wanna go to the club, you definitely can do you, sis. You do what you want when you're popping. Some nice flat sandals or whatever and like a little nice little clutch or a mini bag. In this video, I didn't really style my pieces only because I want to save that for specifically for Instagram or if you guys want me to do a lookbook inspired by some of these pieces, just specifically just showing you guys how I style them. Y'all leave me a comment down below how you guys feel about specific lookbooks. I did get my, my Lacey Teddy from AliExpress as well. I'll leave the link for this down below also. Next thing I got from AliExpress actually just came like 30 minutes ago. Now before y'all see this bag, I had a vision. Once again, I was on Pinterest late night. This is the bag. Before you say anything, just think about what this could be. What this can do for the girls. I will put a picture of the bag that inspired me to get this bag on the screen so I can kind of see what I was kind of going for. I got what I could get the closest to the actual style. And this is probably the closest I could possibly find, I think. Well, no, I think the bag that I looked at was kind of like a square. But this would just look a whole lot more chic, especially after cinch this in. And of course, once some stuff is in here, it looks a little bit more filled out. This also did come with some straps. You wouldn't have it like a shoulder bag or like a side purse. I ain't doing cis like that. I'm gonna wear cis like a little carry on. What outfit did I even buy this for? I honestly forgot. I don't even know. I'm gonna find something to wear with this though. And you guys, that's actually everything that I got from AliExpress. Like I said, this was a collective type of haul. Things that I've ordered probably like three or four months ago. Things I've ordered two weeks ago. Um, I didn't really get much. I still have some things in transit that was gonna be a part of this haul, but unfortunately, it is what it is. But nevertheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive down below. Join the Beehive gang, the Beehive family, because we are lit and we are never, ever. Bougie over here, do you understand me? And then we keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. We're all best friends. So add your girl on Instagram. I mean, what? I will leave everything to every item if I can find it down below in the description box. So please make sure to check that out. And yeah, as always, I love every single one of you. But until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.